All right, here we are, back on the roof. Got Rob McFarland doing the extraction, and uh, so far we've got two sections of honey from each uh, roof rafter, and now we're in the middle, last one, I think, which is the brood. Well, at least we're hoping. And that's what it looks like inside. Bees and more bees. So this one is built at an angle, huh? Yeah, it's kind of wrapped around itself. No, that's weird. Yeah, they get pretty, pretty oh, artsy. Some brood. Got broodage. All right, good deal. Is that capped? Some brood and some capped brood. Oh, that's a good sign. Go to town. Uh, my favorite thing to watch is when they bring in the pollen. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. You know, when they're doing that, things are going good. That's right. Offset. Yeah. Here comes a big chunk of bees. Bees in a bucket. Drop that in there and let them have that. Yeah, want to flop the rest of these guys in there? This way we get them out of our way. They might not stay there, but might have, might help us. Whoa! That's the little brood that we have. Oh yeah, that's nice. Same on the other side. Yep, just a little bit. Well, you got the. Uh, one cap there. Any new larvae in there? Yep. Yep. Good. Good work. No queenage? No queenage so far. Good work. Alright, we're getting brewed there, Susan. Yep. I mean, move over a little bit or what? What do you need? Uh, no, you're good. Okay. Working height okay? Yeah. All right. I think one more rung down might be a little bit too low. Yeah. Then you get these bouncing on your face. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They never build them the same. <laughs> they go to the left. They go to the right. And this is so jammed in there. That thing lit. I think it's kind of beside the point now, though. Yeah, I don't know. 